Hi, this is The Business Guy. What is an offshore trust? What are the advantages and disadvantages? In fact, our organization has likely set up more offshore trusts than any company in the world. I'm the CEO of Asset Protection Planners and Lawyers Limited, the nation's largest asset protection firm. So let's delve into the world of offshore asset protection trusts and see how they might help you. What's your first impression of an offshore trust? At first blush, you may have the impression that offshore trusts are illegal or for bad guys to hide their money from the authorities. In fact, many of the movies and shows we see on TV portray super wealthy individuals squirreling away their money into offshore accounts to evade taxes or launder ill-gotten gain. Now, it may be fodder for late-night television, but it might surprise you that it is far from the truth. Offshore trusts are perfectly legal. They also offer valid ways to protect your money from lawsuits. As you will see, there are strict provisions to keep the good guys in and the bad guys out, and you'll see what an offshore trust really is. You'll also see why they are one of the most powerful tools to secure your wealth. Plus, we'll answer many Many of the common questions. And when you're done watching this video, you'll have a good idea on how offshore asset protection trusts work. You'll also have an idea as to whether or not one might be a good solution for you. And I need your help. Could you please click the like button below so YouTube promotes this video? Thank you so much. And you can also click the subscribe button below so that when more videos come out like this one, you'll be up to date right away. Okay, so what is an offshore trust? An offshore trust is very much like a U.S.-based trust, but it is worded to comply with the laws of a foreign jurisdiction. The company and or law firm that serves as the trustee likely does not have U.S. citizenship. The U.S. courts do not have jurisdiction over foreign lands. Therefore, U.S. court orders to the offshore trustee companies fall in deaf ears. Your opponent may ask the trustee to turn over the funds that are in your trust. However, unlike U.S.-based trusts, your opponent cannot force them to do so. Moreover, your trust trustee company is duty-bound to act in your best interest and not that of your opponent. Now, as you can imagine, being able to trust the trustee company slash law firm is essential. The trustees we utilize involve people that we have known for nearly three decades. In fact, I use the same trustee company for my own funds. So when it comes to setting up an offshore asset protection trust to secure your funds, hiring an organization with experience pays big dividends. The bottom line is that an offshore trust is just a trust that was created overseas. A trust is merely a contract. We call the document on which the contract is written the trust deed. The trust deed contains directions as to how the trustee should manage and distribute trust funds. In fact, if you have more questions, you can give us a call and speak with one of our attorneys or consultants or fill out a free consultation form on our website. Understanding offshore trusts. Now, here are the common terms associated with offshore asset protection trusts. First, the settler. The one who has the trust established is the settler. Synonyms for settler are grantor, trustor, and creator. When you call us to have us set up an offshore trust, that will most likely be you. The beneficiary or beneficiaries can benefit from the trust. That is, the beneficiaries can typically ask the trustee to make distributions from the trust. Some trusts are established to make distributions upon demand, subject to legal threats or trustee discretion, of course. Some make regular distributions to the beneficiary, such as monthly or quarterly, upon the settler's passing. The third party, the trustee, manages the trust. However, the trustee cannot manage the trust freely. The trustee must follow the terms of the trust. Plus, there are laws protecting settlers and beneficiaries. The trustee must abide by its fiduciary duties. That is, the trustee company must act in the best interest of the other parties of the trust. How are offshore trusts different? Unlike the trusts we establish offshore, most trusts in the world with asset protection provisions require the settlers and beneficiaries to be different people. That is, in most jurisdictions, someone cannot set up a trust for his or her own benefit and retain the asset protection benefits. Now, that is one big way that offshore asset protection trusts in the proper jurisdictions are different. Now, we're not saying offshore trusts are the only trusts that have that benefit. They aren't. But it is one of the significant benefits. That is, you can call us and have us set up a trust with yourself as the settler and put your assets into it. Plus, you can name yourself as the primary beneficiary. Most importantly, you can keep the asset protection benefits when you do. So who needs an offshore asset protection trust? Those with significant assets and significant legal risks are the best candidates for offshore trusts. In fact, offshore trusts are some of the only tools one can use when a lawsuit is imminent or somebody has already filed it. So substantial wealth, at least $250,000 up to an unlimited sum, plus high legal risk are those who may need them. So if that is you, an offshore trust may be a very useful tool to safeguard your assets from legal threats. Next, we'll tell you why. Here are the benefits of setting up an offshore trust. Some people have specific reasons for setting up non-US-based trust. Below are some of the benefits you may want to consider. 
Number one, powerful asset protection. An offshore trust is one of the best ways to protect your assets from creditors. Your local courts do not have authority over foreign lands. Therefore, the trustee company can ignore foreign court orders to turn over your money. Conversely, we have seen U.S.-based or domestic trusts penetrated over and over again by results-oriented judges. Number two, tax simplicity. From a tax perspective, they're very easy to manage. Tax responsibility simply flows through to the settler and or beneficiary. There's typically no tax at the trust level, so you pay taxes as if you earned the profits in your own name. You want to make sure to seek the advice from a CPA and attorney before taking any action from anything mentioned in this video, by the way. Number three, investment freedom. An offshore trust is treated like a non-U.S. entity. Thus, you may open yourself up to new types of financial opportunities and investments not available to U.S. people. Plus, it provides an avenue for saving money abroad when things get tough at home. Number four, unprecedented safety. Our trustee company slash law firm management consists of attorneys with whom we have had relationships for almost three decades. In fact, as I mentioned, I utilize our Cook Islands trustee company to secure my own funds. The U.S., on the other hand, has 80% of the world's lawyers and 96% of the world's lawsuits. The risk of asset seizure in the U.S. is higher than just about any country in the world. How are offshore trusts taxed? The offshore trust itself does not pay taxes. Okay, so if the trust does not pay the taxes, who does? Now, this isn't tax advice, so check with the CPA before taking action. But for U.S. people, it is the settler. When the settler dies, the beneficiaries pay taxes when they receive distributions. U.S. citizens, residents, and green card holders are taxed on worldwide income. The IRS treats profits made in the U.S. and abroad the same. There may be a few more forms to file, but you still need to pay your taxes. If you're not a U.S. citizen and you live in a country that does not tax worldwide income, you may possibly enjoy some tax savings. When the settler dies, the IRS has what they call the throwback rule. The throwback rule says that if a beneficiary lets income pile up in the trust, the tax applies to when the trust earned the income, plus interest, not merely when the beneficiary received it. So when the settler dies, holding lots of principal in the trust is fine, but just know there are taxes on the undistributed income that piles up in the trust. The point is, with an offshore trust, you still pay your taxes. So the big benefit is powerful asset protection from lawsuits and judgments. And as I mentioned, be sure to check with a CPA before taking any action on tax-related matters. Are offshore trusts safe? So why do people ask if offshore trusts are safe? Unfamiliarity. So that is why it is important to contact an experienced professional organization to help you. In fact, we've set up more offshore trusts than likely anybody in the world, so we help guide people step-by-step step on setting up time-tested offshore asset protection trusts. We've had relationships with our trustee slash law firm internationally for decades. Moreover, we recommend establishing your offshore trust in a stable, reputable country. We look for political stability. We also look for countries that respect the rule of law. We like countries with stable tax policies, easy currency exchange rules, and economic stability. The most common offshore trust jurisdictions include the Cook Islands, Nevis in the Caribbean, and Belize. Finally, when we set up an offshore trust, we place an offshore limited liability company inside, so the trust holds 100% of the membership interest or ownership in the LLC. You're the initial manager, and you're the initial signatory on the bank account. Suppose the bad thing happens. If you do nothing, the judge could order you to turn over all of the funds from the LLC that's inside of the trust. So you have our trustee slash law firm step in as LLC manager to protect you. Now, in that case, to get to the trust funds, the courts would have to go through our offshore law firm. Your courts don't have sway over foreign trust companies slash law firms. Thus, your money sits in your offshore trust safe and secure. You can see your funds online, you can do stock trades, but your opponents cannot confiscate your money. Most trusted countries. The Corruption Perceptions Index ranks the 180 countries by their perceived level of public sector corruption as determined by expert assessments and opinion surveys. Now, New Zealand is ranked number one or has been tied for number one or two for 10 out of the past 10 years. Cook Islands is where we establish most of our offshore trusts. What is Cook Islands a part of? New Zealand. In contrast, are U.S. trusts safe? If a trust is established in the U.S., it is subject to U.S. court orders. The U.S., as we mentioned, has 80% of the world's lawyers and 96% of the world's lawsuits. We have seen the courts penetrate and plunder U.S. trusts repeatedly. Now, how safe is that? Not very. 
Should I set up an offshore trust? The decision to set up an offshore trust depends on how much you need to protect. We set the typical minimum amount of assets at about $250,000. We have also set up offshore asset protection trusts for people in the billionaire category and everything in between. For us to make a responsible assessment, we want to make sure the client has sufficient assets to protect. We do have other asset protection options for those with lower net worths. However, nothing is as strong as liquid assets in a properly structured offshore trust. So why would you want to set up an offshore asset protection trust? To begin with, moving assets beyond the reach of U.S. attorneys give you a much stronger protective shield. In the U.S., ever-expanding theories of legal liability increasingly favor the plaintiff and the judgment creditor. In certain offshore jurisdictions, they favor the judgment debtor, the one who lost the lawsuit. It's your choice. It's your money. So why not put your money in a place that favors you rather than the guy who's taking it away from you. Fair enough? You can still log in and see your money online. You can still have a bank account with a debit card to access your money. You can still receive wire transfers or send them to others. You can still invest your money in the stock market. You can still do stock trades online. So you can still access your money, but your opponents cannot. So how do you set up an offshore trust? Setting up an offshore trust is much like setting up a domestic one. You fill out an application, you provide due diligence or know your client documentation, and this is a good thing. The offshore asset protection trust industry wants to keep the bad guys out and the good guys in. You too want those associated with your money to be honest, law-abiding organizations, right? Of course you do. So you can call us or fill out a free consultation form on our website and discuss your options. And if you're serious and not just curious, we have attorneys and consultants on staff who can give you a free assessment. So here are the typical steps to setting up an offshore trust. Number one, we send you an application. We need to know your proper legal name and those who you want to inherit your assets upon your passing. Number two, you provide the needed due diligence. This typically includes a notarized copy of a passport or driver's license. You will provide an original utility bill or bank statement as evidence of your residential address. You also need to provide a bank reference letter. These documents are used as proof of your identity. You first scan an email or fax these items. Number three, we use Use the information you provide to draft the trust. Number four, we email your trust so you can sign it. Number five, you email us the originally signed trust along with the original due diligence documents. Number six, our trust company slash law firm signs your trust and you receive a signed copy of the certification of registration if applicable. Set up your trust. An offshore trust can be the strongest asset protection tool in your arsenal. Are you ready to set up an offshore asset protection trust? Are you serious about doing so and want more information? If so, give us a call or fill out a free consultation form on our website. There are places in the world that are likely much safer for your money than leaving it out in the open in the U.S. for an aggressive legal system to rip out from underneath you. Regardless, it is best to have the power of knowledge at your fingertips. But knowledge alone is not good enough. You need to actually take decisive action on that knowledge to put yourself in a position of financial security. So give us a call or fill out a free consultation form on our website to speak with one of our attorneys or consultants. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. See you next time. This is the business guy.